Hello guys, today we are doing a production vlog talking about my new short film that will be coming out soon. And I'm going to be telling you guys about the release date that I have estimated. Hello guys, I'm back to Zero Zero. My name is Markiplier, as you can tell by the text that pops up in that corner in every single video. So, I have talked about this short film before. And it's, I am actually finished filming completely. I think I said that in the last video, no? Well, I have finished filming completely. And I am currently working on the visual effects and the, just piecing it all together. Now, uh, I have not pieced it all together yet. I have done the first, I have, you know, in the editor I have put together the first two thirds of it. No, I'm, I'm dividing it into three parts because you know a movie is like act one, act two, act three. The first two thirds of it is all pieced together and all that. And I have exported it to see the pacing, to see how it is. And the first time I viewed it, it was like, that's really fast. Like, um, I think I mentioned that I was filming in the woods. That part is what was really fast, is the part where I was filming in the woods. And boy was that, it, first viewing was like, But then I went and edited it a little bit, um, added in back a little bit more, trimmed some, and added in a couple more clips like B-roll and all that. Then it actually started pacing a little bit more. But there was some visual effects that I had to do that, that I did, but didn't turn out very well, so I got to really work on those. And of course, this is the most visual effects heavy thing I've ever done. Because if I do anything visual effects heavy, it's like a, uh, say, a 10 second clip. But then, whenever I exported it, it was all fine, but whenever I exported it the first time, that's kind of when I really realized that the visual effects were bad. I have to do a lot of masking, I have to do a lot of visuals, and I had this one plan where, you know, something would appear, and once I seen the effect, which I thought was a final product, it was like, uh, Sharknado does better at this kind of stuff. And it's sad because every time I'm coming out with a story, especially something like this, I'm always planning some type of sequel, which I'm not saying, I'm not announcing any sequel or anything, because who knows, it, this thing might not get views and people are gonna hate it and be like, ugh, so bad. Well, first of all, screw off. This is my first short film ever. The first thing that you do is never perfect, ever. That's why it takes practice. Second of all, just, just don't be judgmental. Just don't. Just don't. Don't do it. Now let's get to the release date that I had planned out. When I'm thinking with um, how this is going, how the pacing is going with editing and all that, I still have to do uh, some sound effects like, uh, say, running through the woods because I'm not using the audio that was recorded while I was actually acting because that's bad. It's bad. But I'm gonna have to record some audio, like on location audio, and some of like, since I'm running a lot in there, I'm gonna have to record some heavy breathings and a little bit of my voice, a tiny bit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to record my voice, do some voiceovers, and just some audio recording after I get everything matched up, like the images and all that, and the visuals. Then I'm gonna have to get my own soundtrack score. I'm not gonna go online and be like, hey, this works, I could use this, it's a free thing, so why not? No, I'm gonna create my own soundtrack. And that might sound bad, when I have to put this. But, anyway, the thing is, is I don't want to just use some soundtrack that somebody else could just snatch up. I'm gonna wanna create my own, and I know how to do it. There's this, there's some keyboards that are online online keyboard apps that are very very well done and I'm gonna go for something that's more stranger thingy you know 80s nostalgic kind of feel that's what I'm going to do and well that, that's that's what I have planned but the release date to be honest I'm thinking it's gonna be sometime around January beginning of January 2019 it might be a little far away, but the more time you take on it, the better it's likely to turn out, especially since this is my first short film I've ever actually done. 
so it's gonna suck anyway. Hopefully not that bad. But the thing is, is, I have a feeling that's actually gonna turn out to be, you know, around 2019, January 2019. I don't know when, but definitely something around then because with how much I still have to do, it'll likely to be around there. Because I had to do a lot of rotoscoping, like at least hundreds of frames, you know, hundreds of frames, rotoscoping. And thankfully, I have finished one, but I have like two more clips I have to do. Three more clips that I have to do. Yeah, three. I hope it ends at three, because I do not want to do four more. That stuff is stressful. But keep in mind that when doing rotoscoping, put in some earbuds and listen to your music. That helps out a lot. It helps out quite a bit. And trust me, I've been doing it. I got through it. It's like, hallelujah. But before I join on, which I don't want to join on, which I do quite often in videos, and I end up either having to edit it out or I just don't end up editing it out, and then, well, boom, there goes a boring video. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. So, like if you liked the video, subscribe for, uh, well, a production vlog, another production vlog coming next Friday. I do videos every Mondays, but since I'm too busy working on this, we're stuck to Fridays, production vlogs on Fridays. So be expecting a video Friday, not Monday. But once all this is over, it'll go back to the regular scheduled basis that it's supposed to be on. But subscribe for new videos, and honestly, let's see if we could go up to 85, even though I'm at 81 right now. It's not much. Let's see if we could break 85. So, uh, I just want to see if I could break 85 because getting subscribers has really slowed down in the past couple of months. So, I guess I gotta start making more interesting content. Yeah, that's what it is.